Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I will walk you through with the 12 steps that you will learn to build your own website with WordPress. If you like to know how did I made this course, actually I decided to make a course and show you how a website is built from scratch and what are the steps involved. First I thought I will just show whatever I know. But then later I thought why not build a site and capture all the steps at the same time. This way I get two benefits. I get a site built and second I will capture all the steps that is required to build a site. That's the end result of this course. Of course after I captured the steps obviously I have spent a lot of lot of time to make sure the videos are enjoyable to watch with clear voice and high quality videos. I also wrote an ebook that actually show all the steps on how to build your website with WordPress. So don't forget to download it from the bonus lecture at the end. Let me explain to you the steps that is involved to build a website. Here is how I divided all the steps into 12 section of them. Let me give you an high level overview on each of these steps. The step one, register and purchase a domain. Well, you will learn what is a domain, why you need to purchase it and from where you can purchase it. And I show you how you can complete the processing of purchasing it. We will actually buy a domain. That's the makewpwebsite.com and then I'll show you what are the steps I have taken to purchase that domain name. I'll also show you some of the tips that I've used to come up with that name. Step two is register with the hosting provider. In this step, you will learn what is hosting provider means. What are their plans along with different vendors from where you can purchase the hosting plan. I'll also show how I purchase the WordPress hosting plan from the hosting vendor. Actually, I've captured all the details how I purchased the WordPress hosting plan and how did I log in into it. You know, all those configuration steps. Everything is captured in this section. Next is the step three mapping domain name with the web hosting. Here you will learn how to map domain name with hosting space and test it live by mapping the DNS and then login into site to verify it. In step four, how to log in into WordPress from hosting. Here you will learn how to log in into WordPress from hosting package. This type of login uses certificate based authentication. And in case you lose your WordPress admin password, then using this type of login can actually help regain the access to your WordPress site. Okay, so it's very important that you understand this type of login is available when you purchase WordPress kind of hosting. Step five, learn to login and log out from WordPress. Here onwards, you will learn to work with WordPress. So in this step, I'll show you how to reset your password, create a new user and delete them and also how to log in and log out from WordPress. Step six, how to organize your new site. This is one of the longest section of all because you learn all the core features of WordPress. And these steps are like golden steps, which you will perform on any of your future WordPress site. So I've taken some time and I walk you through all the different sections of it. Some of the section you will learn like how to check your site speed, create title and taglines, create Gravatar, change permalinks, remove and add, you know, important and useless plugins. Then finally, I'll show you how I actually improve the site performance with some specific plugins. These are my very favorite plugins, which will actually speed up your site. So do check out those plugins and see if it's something valuable to your site as well. Step seven, install and configure themes. I think you will enjoy watching this section more because this step is about uploading a theme and watching our site changing from boring looks to gorgeous shape. And in this step, you will learn how to delete a theme, how to upload a new theme, and also you learn how to upload Genesis framework and upload 1140, which is a child theme for Genesis. And finally, we will add some plugins to support Genesis themes. Step eight, install and configure important plugins. Here you will learn how to add and delete plugins, mostly the plugins that I like. And you will learn how to configure some of the most important plugins that will help protect your site from spam and keep your login secure with Google Recapture. That's the most important plugins that you will install on your site. And I'll show you how to configure them. In the step nine, sample pages, contact and about. In this step, you will learn to create pages. And I'll show you how to create a contact form. And we will test it if it is able to send email. Then we'll also verify the email as well. And lastly, I'll also show you how to create an about page. In step 10, create categories, post and navigation menu. Here you will learn to create categories, post and navigation menus. I'll show you step by step instruction on how to configure them. Step 11, configure layout and widgets. 
In this lecture, you will learn to modify the site layout and also learn to configure widgets. You'll also learn to add some widgets to the sidebars. Step 12, secure your site. In the final section, you will learn how to secure your site with the options given by hosting provider. And also I'll show you one solid security plugin that can safeguard your site like a pro. Apart from this course, you can also download ebook that has all the steps shown with illustration that can help you in your future projects as a reference guide. So download the ebook from the bonus lecture section in the last. Also do the exercise so that you can learn and not just watching me talking. Finally, there are download PDFs in the relevant sections that has all the links that I've shown in the videos. Using this it will be give you a reference guide for your future purchases as well. Okay, excited to learn how to build your own website with WordPress? Then let's do it. Let's understand what you need for this course. In order to follow along and do all the steps that I've done, well, you need an access to a computer with internet. You also need a valid email ID and a valid phone number. The email ID where you should able to receive an email, a phone number where you can receive SMS. If you're going to purchase a domain name or a web hosting, then you need a credit card or a debit card with Visa or Master enabled on it. Then you need to have some idea on a domain name, like what name you're going to put for your website and then what kind of hosting plan that you're going to buy. I'm going to show you what is a domain name and you know, what are different options available for domain name and also from the web hosting. But the decision is yours. You have to understand what kind of domain name that you want to put for your website and then what hosting plan and what budget you have to buy that hosting plan. And then some knowledge on how to follow instruction and do the steps as shown is required. You at least need to know how to configure things. You might not be writing any code here like PHP, HTML and CSS, but you need to know what are the instructions shown here. You should be able to do it on your system. Well, if you can follow along the steps and do it by yourself, then this course will help you to at least build a website for yourself. Okay, so that's all you need to do this course.